Bangkok. We're here in Bangkok, Thailand to see the difference in living on the minimum wage in Thailand and the amount that the top 1% make. Wait, what are we going to do? So basically one of us is going to get the Thai minimum salary, which is like $10.09. Oh no. <laughs> and, the, and the other person is going to get $330 to spend in a day. And that sounds good. We'll see about that. Hey, what are you doing? You'll see. Okay, pick one. No, no, no. Pick the bottom one. No. <gasps> yeah! Of course I got the minimum wage. My girlfriend is the luckiest person I know, and of course she would choose the top 1%. I'm out of the rich! <laughs> Here. What is this? $10. That's it? What? Yep. Bye! She just stole my wallet. She just stole my wallet. Which reminds me, a quick word from our sponsor, Ara. While you might not be able to stop your girlfriend from stealing your wallet, you can protect yourself from all kinds of online attacks using Ara's platform. Not only do they help you to detect identity theft and financial fraud, they also help you to scrub your personal information from the internet in a way that you couldn't do on your own. And they have all the tools that you need, like a secure VPN, antivirus software, and robocall blocking. And it isn't just about the number of tools they have, Aura's platform really works. They detect fraud up to 250 times faster than other fraud detection software. Not only are they giving away a free trial, which you can get with my link in the description below, but also they have a 60 day money back guarantee and $1 million in insurance that will pay you back if their platform fails to protect you. So get two weeks free with my link in the description today. My girlfriend left me with only 353 baht, which is $10 a night. Well, honestly, this is how much I spent yesterday on breakfast, and I don't even know if I'll be able to find a hotel for this amount of money, or a hostel, or what. Maybe I'll just be homeless tonight. I looked online for a hotel, and I booked the cheapest possible hotel, but the reviews weren't great. Everybody here is complaining about how it's not clean at all. This guy says they didn't change the sheets for 30 days. Well, we'll go check out my hotel in a little while and I'll show you how bad that is. But first, let's see if we can even explore Bangkok at all with my remaining $6. I heard that Bangkok is pretty budget traveler friendly, so at risk of starving for the rest of the day having no food, I decided to go check out see what we could do to have some entertainment. Well, I need like three, four dollars for food today, so I guess I've got about three dollars to spend on fun i was walking around when i saw the sign for a golden mountain so i wanted to check it out a hundred baht that's like my entire entertainment budget is it worth it even though i was sure it was not the best idea i decided to do it anyways wow yeah it was so worth it for this view At the top, you can talk to monks about your problems, go pray to the Buddha, or just check out this awesome golden stupa. But after the long morning with no air conditioning and walking up 343 stairs to get to the top, I was dying. I spent another 35 cents on this bottle of water. I hope that Nasi is having a better time than me with all of her money. I am so happy. This day is going to be amazing. Let's see what I can do to make Thomas jealous later. So I got a personal driver because when you have that much money, you don't have to walk. First up, the best reviewed hotel I could find. For $120 a night, I got this beautiful room with king-sized bed. Thomas doesn't like it when I jump on the furniture, so I just had to do it while I had the opportunity. And now it's time to change and go out. But I really wonder now, where is Thomas staying with his $10 budget? Okay, so we're finally back at my hostel and I'm really unexcited. I'm not excited to check in right now and see what waits me there. I'm just hoping it's clean. It is absolutely packed. In fact, it was so busy, I couldn't even find a place to hang up my shoes. The hallway was almost non-existent and they had packed so many rooms on every floor. And in every room, they had packed as many beds as would possibly fit. The sheets smelled okay, but I was still gonna sleep in my clothes to be sure. My wardrobe was this one hanger and there was only one bathroom for all 30 people on my floor. And because there's no shoes allowed, I wore plastic bags on my feet. Still, it wasn't as disgusting as I thought it would be. The showers were worse, they didn't smell very good, and I was pretty sure I would catch foot fungus if I showered in there. It was definitely the smallest hostel I've ever been in, but that's what you get when you don't have a very big budget, unlike my girlfriend. When you have a lot of money, Bangkok provides you unlimited options. So I decided to go to Ancient Siam Outdoor Museum, and it was a truly amazing experience. I felt like I went back in time and was walking through ancient palaces, temples, and Goddess. The place looked so beautiful, I couldn't believe it. I'm so tired. 
So I decided to rent a golf cart because, again, rich people are not supposed to walk a lot. But the only problem, I don't know how to drive it. And I've never driven a car. I deleted all the videos where I'm struggling, so here is nice shots of me driving a golf cart. This is so much better than walking. I really wish Thomas was here so I could surprise him with my driving skills. I, on the other hand, only had my feet for transportation and I couldn't find any food that I could afford. Everything was out of my budget, except for 7-Eleven, which is everywhere in Bangkok. And in Asia, 7-Eleven is stocked with all the best snacks, like these nigiri for a dollar. Sure, it's not a Michelin star restaurant, but it does the job. You can't go wrong with triangles of rice. I'm so hungry, I'm just dying. So when I saw this authentic Thai food restaurant, I immediately decided to try it. Literally everything in the menu looks good, but I'm here for the Thai food. It looks so good. I decided to try some Thai food in Bangkok, so I got some uh, tom yum with shrimp, some pad thai with shrimp, and some rice for my pad thai. So let's try it and see. <laughs> it is so spicy. I really hope Thomas is not dying of hunger out there. When you have less than $3 to your name and you're in Bangkok, here's a list of the best things to do. Take a walk around, look for some sights. Join a band of jugglers in the park. Walk around and look at people. Or stop to enjoy a lovely sunset. But then I noticed this sign for a tourist boat that only costs a dollar. So leaving me with less than $2 for dinner, I decided to jump on and see all of the sights. Wow, it really blew me away. Bangkok is a stunning city. I bet Nasty isn't having this much fun. Well, I don't know about fun, but I decided to use my opportunity to buy myself new earrings. And the best part is Thomas can't say anything because he's not here and I have all the money. It's exhausting to spend so much money in one day, so I decided to relax and went to spa. This place is not like any other massage center because here you can get massage in the garden. If you've never tried the Thai massage before, you might be surprised when they ask you to change in a funny looking pajama. They don't use oil and yes, it's probably going to hurt because with masseuse assistance, you will be making what looks like impossible yoga-like positions. The masseuse will use their knees and elbows and they will stretch your body during the massage. But once it's over, you'll feel much lighter and your muscles will be fully relaxed. So if you have haven't tried it you definitely should so it's finally night here in Bangkok and I'm so hungry I've basically been starving myself the entire day to try to save money I think all I've got left is 40 baht which is like a dollar 30 cents so we're gonna see if I can find anything to eat here or on the street and we're gonna look at people because the people watching is the best on the best party street in Bangkok KSAN Road is so packed with bars that are all bumping music at full volume that it's totally chaotic and you can't understand what bar is playing what music. A lot of people offered me drinks, but I couldn't afford anything. Maybe a Coca-Cola, but then I wouldn't have enough for dinner. There was also a lot of weird things to eat, like alligator, which I didn't bother to ask how much it costs because it didn't look that appetizing. I was sure that I could find at least something to eat at McDonald's. I was so excited to finally get something to eat, I almost ran inside. Look at this guy make the traditional Thai greeting. But I was so disappointed when I looked at the menu. All right, what do we have? 59 baht, that's not enough. Do I have any burgers I can afford? Gosh. Okay, I can almost afford this one hamburger. I don't think that's gonna work. Maybe we can go big five bot off of somebody. I can't even afford tiny fry. McDonald's let me down. Dejected, I left in shame at my country for not making the dollar menu standard worldwide. All right, well, there's a lot of people over here. Let's see what they have on the menu. Finally, something in my price range. With my meager 40 baht, I could afford pad thai. And I knew it was gonna be good. This many tables can't be wrong. The tiny red stool wasn't very comfortable, but I couldn't wait to sit down after walking all day. It might not look very good, but it definitely smells very good. Let's try it. Nothing tastes better than pad thai when you're starving. Though admittedly, the restaurants that cost more do taste better. Thailand is one of the only countries I know where you can survive with 40 baht. Well, that's it, I'm all out of cash, but I'm not hungry anymore, and I had an entire day of entertainment for basically free. So, if there's a country that you can live on the minimum wage in, maybe it's Thailand. And now the lonely walk home to my dorm that I don't love that much. So, see you tomorrow.
After a very long and hot day of walking around the city and basically only eating rice and rice noodles, I was very excited to go back to my normal life. The AC never felt better. It was a godsend. And when they brought me my $2 cup of coffee, it never tasted so good. That definitely wasn't in the budget yesterday. And this smoothie bowl was so nutritious. I wish you could taste it. Oh, hey. Hey, how are you? I'm are so you okay? excited to see you. Uh, you know. Do you still have money? How was your day? I have exactly zero money at this point. I spent everything last <laughs> night. My, my night was pretty rough in the hostel because there's so many people. It was pretty loud. It was very difficult on $10. I, yeah, I wanted it to be an interesting video. It's very difficult to shoot an interesting video on $10. I had a great day. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> it's good to have my girlfriend back. This tastes amazing. This is like my entire budget from yesterday and I have a new appreciation for the value and the quality of my life. Don't be a broke backpacker. No one likes that. No one wants a backpacker to come to their country and ask them for free stuff. Make money, save money, go travel. But you know, budget more than $10 a day. Where are we going now? Oh God, we're gonna do another one of these things. Oh yeah. The next country that we're going to is Vietnam and the link will be here when we publish that video in the next few weeks. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining us. Ciao.